Good afternoon. Uh, the manager will make a brief statement regarding Wayne. For legal reasons, this will be all we will say at this time on the matter. Uh, therefore, we will be unable to take any follow-up questions. Coach. Yes, uh, good afternoon. Uh, obviously, I'm very disappointed uh, by the situation uh, regarding uh, Wayne Rooney. We have spoken, uh, and that was last Tuesday, and the chairman, Bill Kenwright, uh, spoke also to, to Wayne about uh, this situation. And in line with uh, any disciplinary matter, this will be dealt uh, with internally by the club at the appropriate time. And that's all what I have to say about uh, the case of uh, Wayne Rooney. Can I just check with you, Ronald, though, as well? Do you expect it, or what kind of impact do you expect it to have on Wayne's performances? And with that in mind, will he be in the squad for this weekend? He will play this Saturday, yes. Does that mean you expect that it won't have any impact on him in terms of his performance? No, if I see that, that Wayne is not in, in conditions or physically or mentally uh, to play, then he don't play, but... With regard to Ross Barkley then and the situation he found himself in on deadline day, what reason have you been given for his change of mind over a move to Chelsea and what do you make of the whole situation? Yeah, of course, it was uh, <laughs> a strange uh, last day of the transfer window. But I think I don't think it was only that for, for Everton, but for most of the Premier League clubs and maybe more clubs in Europe, and uh, Ross came to see me also this set, this last Tuesday, and he explained me why he uh, turned down uh, to ch to go to Chelsea, and uh, that's that's a private uh, talks with Ross, and uh, I'm not the right man to explain to uh, to you about his decision or the reason of that decision. Have you been given any indication then that he's thinking he wants to stay at Everton long term and with that in mind, is there an offer there on the table for him to sign a new contract still? No, he was he was, he was open to uh, to make a move uh, to another club. And uh, what I heard from the board, there was an agreement between Chelsea and Everton. But finally, uh, the decision was by the player. And OK, and that was what happened uh, at that time. Is that then effectively his Everton career over then? Was to, in terms of a, a first no, team player? No, because he, <laughs> he's still Everton player. He's still, to the end of this season, uh, he has his contract. Of course, the player at, the t at this time is, is injured and, and, and it will take another two, two and a half months when he maybe is available. And OK, and I don't need to take that decision now and uh, I can wait what will happen and then okay we will see what uh, what the decision will be at that time. Overall how happy are you with how the transfer window went given that on the final day obviously you weren't able to bring in the striker and the defender that you were after? Yeah but overall uh, I'm happy and of course uh, we did not uh, for 100 percent do the business because everybody knew that uh, we tried to find the striker to bring in and that striker was really our priority. But OK, I think uh, we were a little bit lucky with our option one and our option two. But we, I, by myself, thought we, we, we will get one of the two in. And finally not. And then, OK, then it's always a problem uh, if you go for your option three or option four or option five. And it's a short time to go. and and, and, and it wasn't uh, at that time the players available to to make this uh, team stronger and of course we have with uh, with Dominic and with Sandro and, and Wayne can play uh, as a nine uh, other options and uh, okay and uh, but like I think like everybody Coutinho is still in Liverpool Sanchez is still in uh, in City and uh, okay that's a part of the business is that what it came down to then the fact that the club you were looking to buy off weren't willing to sell. It's a yeah, situation and, that many clubs and, and, and also the the, the 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 amount of of money. What what now at this time of the last uh, transfer window, everybody is asking for players, and that's that's 
okay, uh, sometimes is that also a reason to um, not to do the business? Because it could change now. They're looking to bring it in. The fact that the window could close before the start. Of the yeah, let's now. let's let's hope that uh, we can change this. But I think it's uh, a question if we do it by uh, in the Premier League and and the rest of Europe uh, don't do this, then still we have a problem, and that makes uh, it even more difficult. And and the best is in all the competitions uh, before starting the competition. Uh, stop the transfer window because uh, it's crazy uh, I know because Janssen the player of Tottenham uh, was still the last day uh, about yes to move from Tottenham and on that day he played France Holland and that's crazy because then you don't have that focus by the national team and and, and that's an example maybe there are a lot of more examples like him that still, when they had to play uh, international football, that they still did business about moving or going, and, and that's crazy. That's that's unbelievable that that still can happen in this time. Lamar had it going on to score two goals so as well. Yeah, <laughs> but okay, you, a lot of examples like uh, the Janssen situation makes it crazy, and and I don't understand why we cannot change it and uh, before the start of the season to have really your squad available and you know and everybody knows I play against Chelsea and this is the squad of Chelsea and not the squad what they have in two weeks. Vlasic though you did get on the final day of the transfer window, what will he bring and is no, he the ready play, to go the, straight in? The player was on our list because he's one of the, the biggest talents in Europe in my opinion. And of course, we had a good uh, two games against them, and 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 in that two games, he impressed uh, me about his qualities. And the boy is 19, and that's also if you look to all the the signings what we what we made. It's a lot of young players: uh, the goalkeeper Pickford, uh, Keane, Klaassen, uh, Ramirez, uh, Nikola Vlasic. It's seven young players. It's uh, the future is bright for for Everton, but of course you need time and a lot of new players, but it feels we start uh, a new season this Saturday and not four weeks ago. Is he part of the squad then for this weekend? Yes, he will be part of the squad, yes. Uh, just checking on the injury situation as well. Pickford, Holgate, Klass and McCarthy, how are they? Uh, Pickford normally is available. He did uh, yesterday and today, today normal training session. Uh, the injuries update is, is, is the long-term injuries, Coleman, Seamus Coleman, uh, Bolassi, Funes Mori, McCarthy and, and Ross Barkley. Uh, just to check as well, Miralas, Nias has been chatted and possibly going to Turkey, possibly Fenerbahce on loan, is there any chance either? We'll be yeah, Mirajas, I spoke to Kevin and about his situation and okay, he wasn't happy about his situation then. He was looking for something else, but nobody uh, agreed uh, something to Everton. And, and OK, uh, Kevin stays and he needs to work hard and he needs to give competition to all the players. And uh, and Nias is back in the first team. Uh, he did training session today. And OK, that gives us another option uh, for the striker's position. Is that why is he impressed as well? Is it, is it work ethic? Yeah, but okay, it's not necessary anymore t to speak about what happened last season. I found it now uh, the right time to bring him to the first team because, of course, the striker situation and uh, it's uh, it's a player of Everton and and sometimes in in life you you need to give some opportunities. What do you make of this Spurs side that you've got to face the weekend? Do you put them in the bracket of title contenders again? Yes, in my opinion. And, and I remember that I mentioned it uh, in the same way last season. In my opinion, it's one of the strongest teams in the Premier League. And uh, maybe in, in, in points they have they don't have the, the, the start, but they expect it. But they are a really strong side. And, uh, and I like the side, how they play football. And what also mentioned last season, uh, in my opinion, it's an example uh, how we need and how we need to make the next step as Everton and what they did. But OK, uh, it's hard work, it's, it's young players and development of young players. And 
and a really good manager. Do you feel that you have taken steps in, in some ways to follow their on kind of example? Yes, on one goal? side, yes, but on the other side, uh, still not, because we need time. If you bring so many young and new players in, you need time and, OK, we still uh, try to find the productivity. What we lost with, uh, with Lukaku uh, to Man U. And that's that's what we need to find. And uh, but okay, uh, we have time for that. Gilfi got a couple of goals over in the week, so yeah, no, he showed his uh, productivity again for for his nation. Eh? And uh, no, he's that that kind of player, and uh, he's a good player. And that's all. I I did not have any doubt about uh, his qualities. And okay, he showed it in in Croatia. And he showed it again uh, last Tuesday. It was I think. Of course, it, I suppose it means something to him facing Spurs again. I mean, yeah, but I think uh, after when he left Spurs, he faced I don't know more, so many times, and uh, it will be not uh, even more special for the for for him as a player. And it's one of the thirty-eight. Just one final thing: the fact that Baines can make his three hundredth Premier League start. Yeah, that's a lot, and that means a lot to everybody. Means a lot to to Leighton, but I'm now working. Uh, the second season with Le with with Leighton, and he was and he's still one of the best uh, in his position and one of the best players. How and long can he go on for? Oh, if we keep him fit, uh, a long time ago, but uh, a long time to go. But uh, okay, we know he's 31, 32, and but he's a great professional and uh, he had his rest uh, rest in the international break like somebody else, some more some more players and. And the manager as well. Arnold, um, the Nias situation is interesting. Is is his reintroduction to the first team as a result of the fact that maybe you didn't get what you wanted in the transfer window? One of the reasons, yes. Okay. And ha having ha he's been out, out of that picture for quite a long time, how will he be reintegrated? Is, is it an easy job to get him back in the team? Because he, he appeared to have no future at all, and he must have thought he had no future in the year at all. No, but OK, uh, last season was a different season. Uh, maybe we had, uh, with some other strikers, more and more difficulties in, 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 in finding a position for him. His behaviour was perfect. Uh, by the under-23s, he played games, and uh, OK, it's... I think it's now the right time to bring him back to the first team and okay he will and he needs to fight like every player for his his chance his opportunity